also for a lot of us, you know, letting go of this control is extremely difficult, right? Because we're so used to, you know, um, believing that we're in control of things, right? We're so used to doing um, everything by ourselves and feeling like we're alone in all of this, right? And uh, so we feel like it's just us against the world sometimes, right? Or at least that's what your ego uh, wants you to believe, right? Is that you're, um, you're all alone in this, right? And uh, that you need to control everything in order for, um, for things to work out, right? But unfortunately, guys, you know, especially, especially if you're a woman, right? Uh, but this applies to, to uh, males too, right? Um, we don't really control, we don't have as much control as we, we would like to believe, you know? A lot of things are out of our control. And um, not only that, but being in this state where yes, you're always trying to control the outcome of the situation, right? Or of a relationship or of anything really, everything in your life uh, that can get you, um, that can make you extremely frustrated, you know, because things don't always work out the way that you want them to, right? And uh, when they don't, you get very disappointed, right? And uh, you feel like a failure, basically, right? Because you didn't, um, because you didn't, um, your expectations maybe were too high, right? Anyways, but what I'm trying to say, I guess, is that, um, you know, the art of letting go of control and trusting the universe and trusting your, even your thoughts and your uh, emotions and trusting and allowing, um, allowing your positive emotions to um, bring you the things that you want into your life, right? So, um, basically the art of attraction, right, uh, is that, is, you know, just you letting go and relaxing and trusting that the universe will do the rest of the work for you, right? Instead of you having to do everything yourself and, and uh, rather than you having to shoulder, shoulder the burden, right, of it all. So um, this especially also applies to women too because I feel like a lot of women nowadays, you know, they're uh, too much in their heads, right? They're too, they're overworked, overstressed, right? Especially in the Western world. And uh, a lot of us have like multiple jobs, you know, and, and we feel like we need to control everything. So you feel like, you know, even the men or even the woman, you know, if you're, if you're a guy, you have to control them too, right? And of course, this ruins your relationships too, right? Because nobody wants to be controlled, right? Nobody wants to be told what to do. Uh, we all feel really restrained, restricted when someone tries to control us, right? And we don't really feel that love either, right? So really, um, love is, is the opposite of control, you know? It's, it's all about letting go, right? And um, it's letting go of the control, it's allowing for things to have, to finally happen, right? To, for the things to come in, right? Maybe for the things that you even worked really, really hard for, right? To make happen. Uh, so, you know, really what's driving the control is, uh, you know, it's your, your fear, right? It's, it's, uh, it's the fear behind the control, right? Why do we control is like we fear losing someone or something, right? We feel, fear like we're not going to get to where we are if we don't control the situation, right? Or the person. So, you have to realize that, you know, by controlling everything and anything, you know, you're you're after and um, you will push the things away, you know, rather than the opposite, right? So sometimes we have to let go of that control in order to uh, let them come to us, you know? We have to trust that the universe has got our back, right? And that requires faith, basically, right? Um, and um, I know it's not easy to do, you know, um, but um, yeah, you know, and, and this, this can also relate to like women, you know, in terms of like attracting guys, right? For example, um, 
you know, um, letting go of control and just being present and being relaxed, right? It's like, it's, it's almost like being in your feminine energy, right? And when you're in that state of like trusting, allowing, when you're in that relaxed state where you, see you attract uh, situations or relationships to yourself, right? Or like outcomes, right? Um, then you, that's what you're going to get, you know, you're going to attract a very masculine men if you're a woman, right? Because you're in that feminine energy, which is extremely attractive for guys for the opposite sex, right? And of course, as a guy, you can also be in this, in this uh, um, energy because it's all about balance, right? And sometimes letting go of control, once again, uh, it's your way of, of showing the universe, showing God that you, you believe that you've got faith, right? And um, yeah. And also, of course, there's a time and a place for control, right? There's a time and a place for doing, 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 right? But there's also a time and a place for letting go and being and just, just uh, allowing, you know, attracting. So how do you let go of control? And how do you allow the things to come and to manifest into your life? You basically, you have to try to be as present as possible in anything that you do, right? So try to be as present as possible and uh, try to relax, you know, and be in the moment, right? Whatever you, it is that you're doing, just focus on that, right? And also, of course, go into nature, you know, go into nature, take a walk around, right? Um, if you have kids, be really present with your kids, you know, really play with them. If you're in a relationship already, then, you know, uh, focus on that specific person and doing, you know, whatever it is that you guys are doing together. Um, also, you know, um, the things like some of some other things you can do is once again, you know, just remember that um, you know there's also a spiritual world that's out there, right? And you're never alone, right? So um, you're even if you feel like you're alone, you're never really alone, right? So there's a greater force that is working for you with you, right? As long as you believe in it, right? And so allow. For, for them to do the work for you basically right the work that you you often don't see behind the scenes right and so you know um, it's really about having faith that you're not alone and that the universe has got your back right it's also about increasing your energy right and becoming positive right pay attention to your words pay attention to the music that you listen to pay attention to the people that you're around you know uh, all of that should feel good and it should be positive, right? And if it doesn't, you should eliminate it or try to be, um, try to not be around it as much, right? Um, all of this will increase your energy and it will manifest your desires. It will bring things to you, right? They will attract, okay? Uh, and if you're working really, really hard at something, right? And you've, you've, put, you've already put in the work, you know, just trust that it's coming to you. Trust that you're able to attract it, that you're able to attract whatever it is that you want into your life, you know? So once again, it is about having faith, right? It's about increasing your energy and uh, putting positive emotions out there so it can get back to you, okay? If you believe in the universe, if you believe in God, God will believe in you and they, it will show you, <laughs> basically, okay? It will show you what it is that it's capable of okay uh so i hope i hope this helps you guys uh i really appreciate you all thank you so much for subscribing uh, if you're a new subscriber thank you so much uh thanks for being here with me today guys much love to you okay